So day three is complete. The paint job is done. It took three days. We decided to paint Journey's bottom ourselves and save the money since the islands are basically closed due to COVID. We learned a lot and maybe we might have to pay for this next time. Make sure everybody in your boat is rowing and not drilling holes when you're not looking. Author unknown. We are D and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Thanksgiving is over and we are back in Florida to get Journey back on the water, at least to move her to Fort Pierce. But after setting for almost eight months, we need to make sure that all systems are go. River Forest was gracious enough to give us two nights on their wall to check her out before heading back through the lock and up to Cracker Boys in Fort Pierce. So it's November 30th and we're going to get Journey back in the water today. Um, we do have a lot of work to do, um, but overall she looks really good. We're just a month late thanks to um, Etta and then um, I think it was Iota that popped up again and just kept us home for Thanksgiving. We decided it wasn't worth all the trouble. Um, so we just left her here and now we're going to put her in the water today and um, tomorrow we're going to leave River Forest, head over to Cracker Boys, pull her back out of the water on Wednesday and we're going to paint the bottom. It should be an exciting adventure for um, year old <laughs> to be doing but we you know, you know it's worth it we we'll save a lot of money and um, then head on down to Key West to spend a few months and try to enjoy this winter since um it doesn't look like we're going to get to head to the Caribbean and hope maybe by early spring um late spring maybe we can get um out of the state the islands will open and we'll just hightail it to Grenada. If not, you might see us on the loop. We just, we're not sure what we're going to do, but we think we're going to do something um, this summer and maybe just stay on her a little bit longer. So um, we'll see what happens, but we're pretty excited about um, just today and getting her back in the water. Can you believe those straps? What did he say? Well, he's trying to say that, you know, it's already broken. Yeah, it was. It was blue. Yeah. Well, I said, well, it's not released. It releases it, it'll go back to the same state. It's a relief to get her back in the water safely, but now that river forest work is done, ours begins. Cleaning her some, checking all systems to be sure they're working properly, and some organization, although we are going to be pulling her back out of the water for another week to paint the bottom. So we know there's even more cleaning and work to be done after that week. Right now the real focus is checking out all our systems. <music>
checking out all our systems, I'll submit making coffee with our new electric percolator that our girls gave us for Christmas, which we celebrated at Thanksgiving, and our new coffee mugs. All systems go after a morning cup of coffee. Two days on the wall and the day to arrive at Fort Pierce is here. We're off early for our trip as we have to get through the St. Lucie Lock. Do you remember that from an earlier video? I was already worried about going back through that lock. Well, here we are, going back through. Survived. Here we are again. We just put her, watch this because she went in. We're doing it again. It's the most unnerving thing ever to watch is your home in the air. Um, but we're doing it again. We're gonna paint that ugly bottom over the next few days. We left Stewart and we're now in Fort Pierce and we're gonna paint the bottom. Now to Cracker Boys to watch the whole process of lifting her out of the water take place again. Be still my heart. But a note of interest, this is December in Fort Pierce, Florida and it is cold. I know I'm in shorts, but I brought clothes to dispose of and did not prepare for the cold. Thank goodness for the disposable coveralls. I wore mine every day whether needed or not after that first day. First we need to sand the entire bottom and specifically the area where we are raising the water line. We made this decision because when we're full of fuel, provisions, and water, she sits right on the line, especially at the stern. We chose to raise the line and we used the width of our painter's tape, which was an inch and a quarter. If you have any questions, just ask. This area needs some extra love, and that was my job. Dee just got after it with the sander. After his first day, we realized we needed the coveralls. He was a mess. Thank goodness for a hotel room and a hot shower. Next for me was the endless rolling of paint. This, you're seeing, is the easy part. Just imagine what I looked like doing the bottom of the hulls. Yes, I was laying on my back, rolling on the paint. Dee continued sanding sanding the running gear, then painting the running gear, replacing the zincs, and helping me finish the bottom. We worked from 7 a.m. until dark and many nights even after dark with lights. Three days later. So day three is complete. The paint job is done. It took three days. Been doing some other things too. I'm along with that. The running gear and new zincs. No. But she is looking very nice down below. We are pretty happy about it. Now just to clean her up. Now it's time to wash, wax, and buff, which was another exhausting job, just ask Dee. And of course, Shelby needed some love. After eight mostly summer months in Florida, the weather was taking its toll on her. She is looking good now. The day before we were supposed to go back in the water, I happened to notice that a lens was missing from one of our underwater lights. And after we investigated all the lights, there seemed to be some issues with water inside the lights. I started digging through receipts, found the company and our installation from Turner Marine in Alabama. Amazingly, this company was an hour from us. We found someone who would help us install it the next day and drove down and picked up the new lights, which were under warranty. Cracker Boys pushed our splash down back a day and we were able to get new underwater lights installed. Finally, all the hard work is done and we're back on the water and heading south. As you can see from the guys working the yard, it's still cold, and we want to find that warmer weather. But while we were in Fort Pierce, Dee heard from a high school friend who also taught him to fly. He had landed in the area for work, so we wanted to get him on board before we headed south. So look for Scott in the next video. Key West, here we come.